So today I'll be making a quick video about how I set up Emacs to do Rust development. Because uh, I love Emacs and I'm really checking out Rust lately. Uh, so I decided to set it up using a, a few packages for Emacs so that we can do some code completion, uh, some syntax highlighting, and do some cargo stuff. Uh, so uh, let's see. We can uh, we can use cargo new admin tone. That should create us a new package, and you can see it here admin tone. And then if we do Emacs admin tone source main dot rs, we got our file here. As you can see, we got syntax highlighting for it. Um, so the there's a cargo package for Emacs that I installed that does all the cargo stuff. Uh, however, what it does not do, uh, I get an error every time, is run uh, cargo new or cargo init. Every time I try to run it, I get an error and uh, and so I have an open issue for that. Hopefully by the time you watch this video it will be fixed. Uh, either way, uh, I do it manually from the command line so it's no big deal. Uh, what does make it cool is if you want to run your, your program that you just had there, uh, I believe you can do C, C, Control C, Control C, Control R, and it runs it. You can see it says hello world uh, right there in the thing. So that's part of the, the functionality of the cargo plugin. Uh, one other thing that it has in it is the ability to uh, do code completion for you, and that's using the, uh, the Rust Racer uh, plugin, the Emacs Racer plugin, uh, which I also have in, in my blog. So. Uh, for example, to test it out, this is coming from its actual setup documentation. We can do use uh, standard colon colon io colon b and then press the tab button. Well, of course, now it's not working. There we go. So, anyway, you can see we got standard. And we can kind of flip through and maybe find out why I didn't do our thing. So we got IO. And now we can see all the all the B's there. So I guess it just took a second. But uh, but yeah, if we wanted to do buff read, buff reader, buff writer, more bytes, we got it all right there. So, so that's, that's pretty cool stuff. So that should help me get started with my... Um, with my Rust programming. I hope it helps you if you're an Emacs user, like I hope you are, because uh, Emacs rules the world. Uh, be sure to check out my blog post. I have a link for it in the de in the in the description of this video. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel where I put out videos all the time. And also check out my blog, admintome.blog. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.